13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Kalina Estrinos, and right now in your 13 Action News Update, CCSD is working to resolve issues with distance learning. On Monday, some students and teachers were locked out of their virtual classrooms after the learning app Canvas had a nationwide outage. And district police also say a hacker made a threat against Walter Johnson Junior High School inside of one of those virtual classrooms. Now, the hacker was identified as a former student. A man is in critical condition after being shot this morning. It happened just before 2 a.m. near Jones and Twain. Police say officers responded to a call about gunshots and someone screaming for help. Right now, investigators haven't said anything about a possible motive or suspects. This morning, Governor Sisolak visited the Cashman Center COVID-19 testing site in downtown Las Vegas. Earlier this month, the site opened to replace the old drive through testing center at Texas Station. Clark County and UMC run that site with the help of dozens of Nevada National Guards members. The Cashman Center testing site is open from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. You're asked to make an appointment online, but walk-ins are taken on a first-come, first-served basis. Unfortunately, our temperatures are running almost 10 degrees hotter than average, so for late August, we are just off the charts here and flirting with record levels of warmth. For the next three afternoons, an excessive heat warning that also will be in effect at night. Not a whole lot of overnight heat relief. 109 today in Las Vegas proper could hit 111 up on the north end of the valley. We're talking about temperatures slowly dropping into the upper 90s an hour after dark at 9 p.m. And we're still in the mid 90s as late as midnight. Overnight lows eventually settle to about 86. Back to 108 on Wednesday and Thursday. Clean up some slight heat relief this weekend. 105 Saturday, 104 Sunday, and down to 103 by Monday. All right, Justin, thank you so much. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com, and our free mobile app.